नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड फाइन सो वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल ऑफ द गुरुकुल नीलो खेड़ी एंड टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट बिफोर यू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर द टाइगर के प्लीज कैरी दिस बुक इन योर हैंड बाय हैविंग अ पेन एंड पेंसिल आई एम गोइंग गोइंग टू फिनिश द चैप्टर टूडे इट सेल्फ क्लियर सो आई नीड योर हंड्रेड परसेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दिस इज द चैप्टर नेम द Tiger King by Kalki, also known as Rama Swami, Krishna Murthy. Right, the Tiger King is a satire. is a beautiful interesting story it's a fictional story written by a great indian writer kalki also known as rama swami krishna murthy the description of the writer i have already given in my first and second part if you have not gone through the first and second part so please you must pay a visit to that page and watch the video carefully it is much significant for your from your boards Uh, examinations point of view clear so up to now i have told you the tiger king who has been told by the chief astrologer that he has taken the birth in the hour of the bull and uh, his death would take place by a tiger clear so he started growing up as king of the kings champion of the champions hero of the heroes warrior of the warriors he started drinking the milk of an english cow an english tutor was appointed to teach him english okay he was uh, given the crown ship at a very early age of 20 as his parents mother and father they had already expired clear so when he became the next ruler of pratibandapuram he came to know about the old prediction given by the chief astrologer that his death would come by a tiger immediately he took a bullet who do sorry he took a gun and went to the forest and shot a tiger and brought his dead body to his palace then he called the chief astrologer and he showed the dead body the carcass of the ti tiger to him and asked now what would you want to say at that the chief astrologer he challenged him that he would not be able to kill the 100th tiger the majesty make uh, might kill 99 tigers but he must be aware of the 100th one at that since that day onwards the tiger king he had proclaimed in the uh, in his city in his kingdom that nobody would be allowed to hunt that uh, hunt a tiger except the king himself so since that day he started hunting the tigers one by one one by one uh, if anybody caught finding the hunting finding hunting the tiger he had proclaimed in the uh, state that his property would be confiscated would be occupied would be acquired one day a high ranking british officers officer he paid a visit with his wife in the uh, sorry in the forest of pratibandapuram he was very much fond of hunting the tigers and moreover he wanted to get a photography by having uh, a leg on the carcass of the tiger and by having a gun by making some posture but as per the royal decree he was not allowed when he was not allowed so the tiger king he started thinking that his kingdom was in danger what would he do immediately he made a plan with the help of his diwan and he sent his diwan to arrange 50 diamond rings from and the outlet a british jewelers which was located in madras and they sent all 50 diamond rings to the wife of the high ranking officer in the expectation that she would select merely two or three but she had taken 50 out of 50 and the tiger king he had to pay 3 lakh rupees as a bill he had to pay but although he was happy even then he was happy why because his kingdom was safe clear so anyhow he had managed to retain his kingdom up to now we had already studied and i have done the recap clear so now i am going to start part number 4th in my book the page number 12 and see in your book it's a fourth part clear 
द महाराजाज टाइगर हंट्स कॉन्टिन्यू टू बी अ हाईली सक्सेसफुल मीन्स द महाराजा ऑफ प्रतिबंधापुरम ही कॉन्टिन्यूड हिज हंटिंग विद हाईली सक्सेसफुल मीन्स एवरी टाइम ही पेड अ विजिट टू द जंगल एंड शॉट द टाइगर एंड ब्रॉट हिज कैरकेस ब्रॉट हिज डेड बॉडी टू द पैलेस एंड स्टार्टिड हैंगिंग ऑन द वॉल द डेड बॉडी वॉज बींग हंग बाय हेम ऑन द वॉल एवरी टाइम so years after years years after years had been rolled away so 10 years had been passed away within 10 years within 10 years he was able to kill 70 tigers underline this thing bachcho within 10 years the maharaja of pratibandapuram he could be able to kill 70 70 tigers right after killing 70 tigers now this time and then an unforeseen hurdle unforeseen means unexpected unexpectable un foreseen means un expectable about which you don't have any expectation beyond your expectation the things are coming that is unforeseen unexpectable hurdle hurdle means restriction hurdle means uh, you can say that uh, restriction or in hindi translation badha clear so any unexpected hurdle it stood before the tiger king he couldn't understand brought his mission to a stand still stand still stand still means pause stand still means pause so restriction one more more word we can write down uh, obstacle clear obstacle yes so because of an unexpected obstacle his mission it has been posed what was his mission his miss his mission was to kill 100 tigers but after killing 70 tigers there was a trouble there was a foundation there was an obstacle there was a restriction it came in between and that was that his kingdom almost almost had lost the population of the tiger the population of tiger the tiger population became extinct in the forests of pratibandapuram extinct means vanished e x t i n t c t extinct means vanished gayab ho jana clear extinct means vanished means slowly slowly the tiger's population they were going to be finished now this time how could he complete his counting of 100 tigers killing who knows whether the tigers practiced birth control or committed harakiri nobody knew about it nobody could understand whether the tiger king they had been practiced the birth control means somebody might have suggested the tigers not to produce children or i think so they had committed harakiri harakiri means suicide hara kiri means suicide clear nobody could understand whether the family planning had been made by the tigers they are not producing children or maybe maximum tigers they had committed suicide harakiri nobody could understand the tiger king he was shocked he was surprised actually immediately where the tiger population had been gone so or simply ran away from the state because they desired to be shot by the british hand alone the tiger king he was putting a comment on the tigers ki i think so they had run away because of my fear from my fields of pratibandapuram they did not want to be shot by my gun they wanted to be shot by the guns of britishers they wanted to be died they wanted to be died by the guns of the britishers rather than my gun that's why i think the population has completely been finished the one day sorry one day the maharaja sent for the diwan sent for yesterday i told you means called one day 
द किंग कोल्ड द दीवान एंड सेट दीवान साहेब aren't you aware of the fact that 30 tigers still remain to be shot down by this gun of mine now in front of the diwan the tiger king was holding a gun and he said that ki diwan sahib you don't know this gun of mine my this gun is having it it, it wants to quench its thirst by killing 30 more tigers it means my 30 tigers Uh, counting still pending in order to complete my, my mission of killing 100 tigers i have killed 70 tigers but 30 are pending my gun is curiously waiting for shooting next shot make some arrangement for me for the tigers and he asked brandishing the gun brandishing means clean when he was just cleaning the gun in this way do you know my gun it is it is it it, it wants to quench its thirst in order to kill 30 more tigers now shuddering at the sight of the gun shuddering means trembling s h u d d e r i n g shuddering means trembling divan was trembling sight means looking when he was looking towards the gun Divan he started trembling with fear and said your majesty and cried out crowd loudly very loudly he said your majesty oh king i am not a tiger i think so have you called me that by considering me as a tiger please don't show me this gun i think so you are going to kill me i am not a tiger which idiot would call you a tiger now the king replied which idiot has called you a tiger you are not a tiger no and i am not a gun now divan said that he oh okay you are thinking that i am a gun no your majesty i am not a gun now again the king replied you are neither tiger nor gun neither you are a tiger nor you are a gun who which idiot had said to you that you are a gun or you are a tiger you are nothing Divan Sahib, I summoned you. Summoned means called you. I S U double M O N E D. Summoned means called. I called you to get uh, a news. I called you here for a purpose of a different purpose. My motive is different. I have decided to get married. Divan Sahib. I want to get married that's why I have called you the one was idiot the one was stupid he had taken it in otherwise the divan began to babble even more babble means cry b a double b l e babble means cried he started crying and said oh your majesty oh king i have two wives already means i am already married i have two wives and if i am going to marry you if i marry you then what would happen to my wife oh don't talk nonsense you stupid now the king he replied aggressively shut up shut your mouth why should i marry you i am not a gay i am not going to get marry you what i meant is a tiger my motive is there that i need a tiger i need a tiger only that's why your majesty oh king please think it over your ancestors ancestors means forefathers purvaj your ancestors were married to the sword sword means talwar clear your ancestors means your father your grandfather your great grandfathers all of them they had got married to a sword clear and now if you marry if you like marry the gun i think so you want to marry this gun a tiger king is more than enough for this state means one single tiger king we are having in the form of you your majesty it is more than enough for our pratibandhapuram for our state it doesn't require it doesn't need a tiger queen as well means you want to get married and want to bring a tiger queen like you no majesty no it you are enough quite enough being a tiger king the maharaja gave a loud crack of laughter loud crack means loudly very loudly he burst into laughter he started laughing ha 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 this way i am not thinking of marrying either a tiger or a gun oh stupid a fool 
आई एम नॉट थिंकिंग टू मैरी इधर अ टाइगर और आई वॉन्ट टू मैरी अ गर्ल नो यू आर थिंकिंग रॉन्ग आई वॉन्ट टू मैरी बट अ गर्ल फ्रॉम द रैंक्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स अरे आई वॉन्ट टू गेट मैरिड टू अ ह्यूमन बींग गर्ल फर्स्ट यू मे ड्रो अप स्टेटिस्टिक्स ऑफ द टाइगर पॉपुलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू डू योर कैलकुलेशंस यू टेक आउट द कैलकुलेशंस ऑफ योर ओन for the tiger population in different native states native state means in the neighboring states for example if i am living in pratibandapuram along with pratibandapuram this state belongs to different king that state belongs to different king that belongs to different that belongs to different that belongs to different and he asked the diwan to make a calculation for all the native states and find out which state does ha- has the maximum population of the tiger in that kingdom please make a match making for me in that kingdom i want to get married because by hook or by crook i must complete my counting of 100 tigers and 30 are still pending so if there is a girl next sorry next you may investigate if there is a girl in any of the native land where population of tigers is more is quite enough i can marry in the royal family of a state with a large tiger population i am ready to get married i am ready to marry a girl in which on in whose king in whose kingdom the population of the tigers is up to the mark so the diwan followed his orders diwan got agreed and he said okay whatever you say your honor it would be there and he started following his instruction his orders he found after few days he found the right girl from a state just from a state in the neighboring uh, in the native land of pratibandapuram and he found a match making which possessed a large number of tigers and finally a match making had been found by the diwan and he informed the tiger king after finding this suitable match for him maharaja jang jang bahadur killed five or six tigers each time he visited his father in law after getting married when he paid a visit to his in laws in laws means sasural when jilani jang jang bahadur when the maharaja when the tiger king he started paying a visit to his in laws at a single time he started killing five or six tigers and brought their dead bodies carcass to his palace and hanged on the walls clear so one after one one after one 70 to 75 75 to 80 80 to 85 86 90 95 96 96 one by one one by one he was just about to fulfill accomplish his mission to kill 100 tigers he was quite near so in this manner 99 tigers adorned the walls of the reception hall in the pratibandapuram palace one by one he could be able to kill 99 tigers and all 99 tigers skins they were uh, hanging on the walls of the palace on each wall it means they were adorned over there they were increasing the glittering of the palace and they were the symbolization of the power position and status of the king of pratibandapuram that he himself had killed these 99 tigers now after killing 99 tigers what happened this is the next part fifth part the maharaja's anxiety reached at a fever pitch where there remained just one tiger to achieve his tally of 100 now the anxiety anxiety means worry a n a n x i e t y anxiety means worry chinta clear now the anxiety of the king it was increasing means now he could not be able to manage at least single tiger 99 tigers he had killed now the population in his pratibandapuram and in the kingdom of his in-laws in both kingdoms it had completely completely been finished no more tigers were found over there and how could he complete his tally of 100 tigers he had this one thought during the day and the same dream at night during day time during night time in his dreams only this thought started revolving how can how could i find my 100th tiger how could i find my 100th tiger where would i find it 
By this time, the tiger farms had run dry even in his father-in-law's kingdom. I told you that means tiger's farm means the population of the tiger in the forest. Even in the in-laws, in his father-in-law's kingdoms had completely been finished. No more tigers were found over there. So, he was worried. It became impossible to locate tigers anywhere. It was impossible, quite impossible. At a far, far distance in so many forests, it was not, it was not possible. It was quite impossible to find out even a single tiger, single beast. Yet, only one more was needed. Only one was required. If he could kill just that one single beast, if anyhow he could be able to manage to kill at least a single beast, the Maharaja would have no fears left. Now, the fear of Maharaja would be gone away at a far distance. He could give up tiger hunting altogether. He had decided himself that he would leave. Give up means leave. G-I-V-E. G-I-V-E-U-P. -E it's a phrasal verb. Means to leave. To leave something. After killing one more tiger, the tiger king had decided himself that he would not hunt the tigers in his entire life. He would give up hunting because he was getting boredom. Now, but he had to be extremely careful with the last tiger. Now the words of the chief astrologers were revolving in his mind. He, won, he must be very careful this time because this was the hundredth tiger. What had the late chief astrologer said? Late means, Vacho, please pay attention, L-A-T-E, late means Svargiye. That the chief astrologer had already died because he grew much older. Now this time, the words had been spoken by the chief, late chief astrologer were still revolving in his mind, in his brain. Now be aware of the last tiger. So what had the late chief astrologer said even after killing 99 tigers, the Maharaja should be aware of the 100th one means that he must be aware of the 100th tiger. True enough, yes, it's reality. The tiger was a savage, be savage means that bushy beast, it's very uh, dangerous. S A V A G E means bushy, or we can say dangerous. He was thinking, Yes, although I have killed 99 tigers, but definitely, no doubt, we cannot deny that tiger is a savage, it's a bushy, or it's a dangerous beast. It can harm to me as well. So, he was alert this time. Beast after all, one had to be wary of it. Wary means alert, Savdhan. If you want to hunt the tiger, you must be wary. W-A-R-Y. Wary means alert, Savdhan. Clear? One must be alert, one must be wary of it. But where was the hundredth tiger to be found? But the question was there, interrogation was there, ki means where to find the hundredth tiger? He could not understand. So, it seemed easier to find tiger's milk than a live tiger. He started thinking it's quite easy to find the milk of a tiger rather than finding the live tiger. A live tiger was impossible to be found over there. It was his first ascertained that this was not the work of Khadar Mia Sahib or Virasami Naikar. Khadar Mia Sahib and Virasami Naikar, they were the, they were just like hunters in the neighboring villages. So it was not the work of Khadar Mia Sahib and Virasami Nekar because in his own state, the sheep, sheep means bhede, they started getting disappearing. So he started getting happy. I think so that his expectation would, would be accomplished as early as possible. He would be able to find out his the last hunting tiger as early as possible. Both famed, both famed for their ability to swallow sheep haul. It means they were fame. The both person, Khadar Mia Sahib and Veera Sami Nekar, both were famous to kill the sheep, but this was not the work of these two persons. The villagers ran to inform the Maharaja. The villagers came out of the palace and they started informing to Maharaja, Oh, your majesty, means there might be possibility for a tiger that you want to hunt your last tiger. So you may pay a visit to those villages in the forest, in the wild beast area. 
the maharaja announced a 3 year exemption from all the taxes for that village means maharaja he got happy and he immediately on the spot he had make made an announcement for a 3 years exemption from the tax means you will be exempted from the tax 3 years tax no need to pay to Roy, as per royal decree and he got much happy and set out on the hunt at once immediately he by doing his horse riding and went to the villages to find out his last hunting of tiger the tiger was not easily found it was not a cup of tea it seemed as if it had wantonly hit itself in order to flout the maharaja's will wantonly means deliberately deliberately means the tiger was hiding itself behind some bushes because the fear of the tiger king tiger's will was about to be completed that's why it was hiding itself at a place the maharaja was equally determined he was resoluted no means by hook or by crook i must kill the last tiger definitely he refused to leave the forest until the tiger was found he refused to go back to his palace he until or unless i am able to find out tiger i would not be leaving this place as the days passed away days after days passed away the maharaja's fury curiosity and obstinacy mounted alarmingly made that his curiosity and excitement was increasing high and high many officers lost their jobs and he had expelled so many officers from their jobs but because they were unable to find out the last tiger for him one day when his rage was at its height rage means aggression gussa when his aggression was up to seventh sky the maharaja called the diwan and ordered him to double the land tax forthwith and immediately he released the order to diwan that oh diwan do one thing just pay a visit to the neighboring villages and increase the tax tax must be taken double i am not going to give exemption to anyone because i didn't find my last hunting tiger the people will become discontented discontented means they were get, uh, getting um, dissatisfied okay now then our state too will uh, fall a prey to the indian national congress it means that our uh, our state too will fall a prey they were they were deciding to uh, get a help from the indian national congress at that time i told you it was a time of british india in that case you may resign from your post said the king king said that he means that in that case you may resign from your post the one that if you are unable to find out any more tiger for me that i have already expelled so many officers and you would be the next one if you want that your job must be secured that you should find out a last tiger for me at least go and find out the tiger for me the diwan went home convinced that if the maharaja did not find the tiger soon the result could be catastrophic catastrophic means drastic bad catastrophic means bad or worst you can say that the result will be worst if the maharaja could not be able to find out the last tiger for his hunting then he felt life returning to him only when he saw the tiger which had been brought from the people's park in madras and kept hidden in his house that his life he felt life returning to him that means he paid a visit to the national park in madras and from there he had brought an old and weak tiger and released and he it was kept hidden in his house at midnight when the town slept in peace when the town was sleeping peacefully in the night the diwan and his aged wife means diwan was aged so that's why his wife was aged and both of them the husband and wife dragged the tiger to the car painstakingly it was dragged into the car and it was denying because it was old and weak tiger and shoved it into the seat it means they made him sit on the seat of the motor van the diwan himself he drove the car the diwan was driving the car and the car straight to the forest immediately he had taken the car to the forest where the maharaja was hunting maharaja had been hunting for the long lasting period to count uh, to complete his counting of 100 tigers killing when they reached the forest the tiger launched its satyagraha and refused to get out of the car means after coming into the forest when they opened uh, the door that the, the tiger king he was looking that he was sitting like satyagraha like mahatma gandhi he was kept he kept sitting on the seat and did not come out did not emerge out of the car he was refusing 
the divan was thoroughly exhausted exhausted means tired completely tired that he was putting his efforts to haul to take the beast out of the car and push it down to the ground painstakingly after the practicing of few hours maybe 2 3 hours anyhow he could be able to manage to release the tiger into the jungle on the following day the next day the same tiger wandered into the maharaja's presence means the information was given to maharaja and he got ready to find out his last hunting and he was wandered wandered means moving the old tiger same old tiger was moving in the presence of the maharaja and stood as if in humble supplication that he was just standing in a polite manner that he was begging to the tiger king for its life master what do you command of me it was just like that he means have you seen a tiger maybe in the zoo or maybe in the circus that if it is begging to its master about its command it was his boundless joy boundless joy means that limited joy which had been kept on the mood of the master that the maharaja took careful aim at the beast aim at means nishana lagana hunting now this time maharaja he took out his um, to shot to shoot he took out his gun and just make a shot in this way towards the old and big tiger anyhow he wanted to kill the hundredth tiger and the tiger fell and when he shot the bullet the tiger fell in a crumpled heap in stumbling and he fell down on a heap of a dust it fell down I have killed the hundred tiger now my vow has been fulfilled the maharaja was overcome his elation means his joy had no limitation now maharaja he jumped happily by calling that he could be able to kill hundred tigers my wish had been accomplished i have killed hundred tigers ordering that tiger to be brought to the capital in the grand procession and he released the order i am going to palace and just bring it in a grand procession procession means in a with a grand success bring it to my palace the maharaja hastened away in his car he quickly ran away by sitting into his car by leaving the tiger uh, under the observation of the officers and the ministers after the maharaja left when once the maharaja he had left the place the hunters went to take a closer look at the tiger the hunter they started looking carefully about the tiger actually the tiger looked back at them rolling its eyes it was rolling its eyes in this way it was moving it was blinking its eye it means the tiger was alive tiger had not died now the men realized the hunters they had realized the tiger was not dead the bullet had missed the gun had missed so it had fainted from the shock of the bullet whizzing past means because of the sound of the bullet the tiger had fallen down the hunters wondered what they should do now this time they started making a conversation with each other now what to do what not to do because they they had a fear that they would be expelled from their jobs if the tiger king would come to know about that tiger was alive now they decided the maharaja must not come to know that he had missed his target they had decided collectively that information about the aliveness of the tiger would not be given to the tiger king if he did they could lose their jobs and i told you that they would having the fear of losing their job they would be expelled one of the hunters he took aim he took his bullet sorry gun and just shot from a distance at of one foot and shot the tiger and finally the tiger died this time he killed it without missing his mark this time without making any mistake he finally had killed the 100th tiger now please underline the students means the 100th tiger it was killed according to the king he had killed 100 tigers but actually the 100th tiger had not been killed by the tiger himself it was killed by one of the hunters then as commanded by the king as per the order given by the king the tiger the dead tiger was taken in a procession through the town and buried and there it had been brought over there and it was buried over there a tomb was erected over it because it was the 100 tiger so it was buried the fnadiya gaya because this was the significant tiger a tomb there was a tomb okay it had been erected over there it was made a few years few days later the maharaja's son's third birthday now this time 
as per his wish the tiger king he started spending his time in the company of his family members and now he already he had been blessed with a baby boy his third birthday was coming until the maharaja had given his entire mind over to tiger hunting for the last few years he could not be able to pay his 100% concentration towards his family to his kingdom now this time he started paying his all attention towards his family and uh, towards his kingdom he had had no time to spare the, for the crown prince for the crown prince means his own son he had no time to pay attention towards him but now the king turned his attention to the child he started taking care of his son he wished to give him some special gift on his birthday on the birthday of his son the tiger king had decided to offer him a beautiful gift he went to a shopping center in pratibandapuram and searched every shop one by one he started searching the shop into the market what kind of gift should be offered to my son on his birthday but he couldn't find any thing suitable nothing he found that was suitable for his son so finally he stopped a wooden tiger in a toy shop he paid a visit to a toy shop and there he found there was a wooden toy tiger there was a tiger it was made of wood lakdi ka bana hua sher as a toy and decided it was the perfect gift now this is the perfect gift to be given to my son on his third birthday the wooden tiger cost only 2 annas and a quarter means 2 and a half 2.5 सवा दो आने इन हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन टू आनाज एंड ए क्वार्टर वॉज द एक्चुअल प्राइस ऑफ दैट बट द शॉपकीपर न्यू इफ ही कॉटेड सच अ लो प्राइस टू महाराजा द शॉपकीपर ही वॉज वरिड इफ आई टोल्ड द किंग अबाउट द लीस्ट प्राइस बिल्कुल घटिया प्राइस बताया द चीप प्राइस द चीपेस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द थिंग देन महाराजा ही वुड बी दैट ही वुड पनिश हिम दैट मीन द शॉपकीपर वुड बी पनिश्ड अंडर द रूल्स ऑफ द एमरजेंसी ही वुड गिव द पनिशमेंट अंडर द एमरजेंसी सो दैट्स वाई इमिडिएटली ही इंक्रीज द प्राइस ऑफ द कमोडिटी ही सेड योर मेजेस्टी ओ किंग दिस इज एन एक्सट्रीमली रेयर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्राफ्ट मैनशिप क्राफ्ट मैनशिप मीन्स मेड बाई हैंड द थिंग्स मेड बाई हैंड दिस इज अ वंडरफुल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्राफ्ट मैनशिप ऑफ ए carpenter a bargain at 300 rupees the bargain took place between the maharaja and the shopkeeper that i would give it to you at a cost of 300 rupees very good good glad to see you let this be offering to the crown prince on his this birthday this will be a suitable mad gift for my crown prince on his third birthday said the king and took it away with him on that on that day father and son both of them the maharaja and the crown prince both of them they started playing with the tiny tiny small little wooden tiger and actually boys it had been carved it had been made by an unskilled carpenter unskilled means the person who doesn't have any skills clear in hindi translation anadi unskilled carpenter carpenter the person who works for the wood clear and he makes some commodities made of wood so it was made by an unskilled carpenter its surface surface means the outer boundary the outer boundary of the wooden toy was rough it was rag completely rag tiny small small sleevers sleevers means it is just like nails ki log itna fast okay hindi translation fast tiny sleevers of wood stood up like quills or all over means like kilo ki tarah they were looking like on the surface of the wooden toy and one of those sleevers one of those sleevers pierced pierced means it entered into the maharaja's right hand one of the sleevers it pierced into the it made a hole into the right hand of the king clear so he pulled it out immediately he pulled it outside and with his left hand and continued to play it with the prince and he started playing with his crown prince with his son so the next day the infection flared the infection took place and the swelling took place the hand was becoming very thick in the maharaja's right hand in four days after four days it developed into separating sore separating sore in the translation means uh, there is a white a uh, white bloods like uh, white liquid it comes whenever the injury takes place with swelling and some more infection is, uh, comes over there okay in the translation peep peep pad jati hai that's called 
supporting sore it was spreading inside it and all the courtiers and minister they had decided to call the surgeons which spread all over the arm and slowly slowly it was increasing towards the arm before it could take place towards the body and they had decided to call the surgeons and three famous surgeons had been called from the madras and after holding a consultation and after talking to the king to tiger king all of them they had decided to operate the right hand of the king the operation was decided the operation took place after some time the three surgeons who performed who had done the operation they came out of the operation theater and announced the operation was successful the maharaja is dead they had declared all the doctors they had declared we have already cured the right hand of the king but now unfortunately we don't know what happened suddenly the king had died it was he was no more in this manner the 100th tiger took its final revenge upon the tiger king revenge means badla lena in this way the 100th tiger means in the form of the wooden toy it had taken the revenge upon the tiger king and now the prediction had been come to true given by the chief astrologer so this was the chapter the tiger king i had given the explanation in a beautiful way and all the words meaning which i have written on the board so students it's your obligation right now that you must write down the answers of these words uh, word meanings in your notepad and the question answers will be given to you as early as possible in the form of pdf files okay and uh, i may call randomly to any of the students to get a confirmation that whether you are doing your work properly or not so i hope that you'll give me a positive response for that till then take care thank you have a nice day